Anthony, thank you so much. You are the king of Hearties Real Estate. And once again, you've brought us to an incredible home. So tell me a little bit about this. Welcome, Chad. It's always a pleasure hosting the Home Shopper Show. You guys do the utmost best job. This home, you're definitely gonna enjoy. Just a basic breakdown. So it's six bedroom, six and a half bathroom. And this home is coming in at 19 million. But this is only for the opulent, the wealthy, and the fortunate. It looks like an incredible home and I can't wait to take everybody through it and show everybody how incredible it is. Chad, this is one for the books. You're gonna enjoy it. Welcome home. Thank you so much. Walking into the ultimate holiday home right here on one of the canals in Harabia Sport. We are in the Islands Estate. You're immediately greeted by an exceptionally wide open space filled with so much natural light. But those aren't the only first impressions you're getting. You're seeing modern lines, featured walls, and so many different geometric design elements. So I love how this house has been designed. Coming through the glass double doors behind you, you're greeted first off by your half bathroom right here by the entrance of the house, which is so nice because none of your guests then need to walk too far to go to the bathroom. And let's check that out first. The half bathroom is perfectly designed into two separate rooms. One room is a washroom with a single vanity, massive mirror and under counter storage. Then separated by a door, you find your toilet. What's cool about this is you've got a wall of glass and that is privacy glass. You do get to enjoy the lush greenery that only the islands provides here in Hearties while still having a lot of privacy. On the other side of the wall, leaving the bathroom behind, you get your first bedroom, a guest bedroom that is very well equipped. A queen bed fits in very comfortably. You've got another cool featured wall and a wall of windows as well, letting you look out onto your front garden. This bedroom, like every other one in this house, comes with its very own ensuite bathroom, a built-in desk, a set of cupboards, as well as its own aircon. In terms of the bathroom, you've got a bathtub, a walk-in shower, double vanity, under counter storage, and beautiful tiling throughout. With one bedroom out the way, let's go take a look at the next bedroom located downstairs. This is a holiday home, is what we said in the beginning, and a holiday home that is meant to be enjoyed with as many people as possible. Which means there are three downstairs bedroom. This is the second, come with me. The second bedroom is much like the first one we looked at. You've got cupboard space, a built-in desk, space for a queen bed with a headboard that contains two separate pedestals. You've got a really nice floral feature wall that drives home the fact that this is a place for you to sit back and relax. This bedroom has an ensuite bathroom with a freestanding bathtub this time around, a walk-in shower and a single vanity, but does again include that incredible view of your front garden. Just behind me is worth mentioning, that is also where you'll find your double garage as well as a sliding glass door giving whatever guests you have staying over their own access to your stunning back garden, that blue pool and access to the canal. And now we get to talk about the living areas and it's a lot of living area to cover. Behind me you see a beautiful concrete featured wall and then inside that feature wall your very own smokeless fireplace with one of the breather holes just above it being hidden by some art pieces. And then moving into the living area, we have another featured wall, this time liquid themed, an abstract one that really does hammer home. We're in an estate that is famous for its waterways. The lounge area is spacious and because the home is north facing, gets plenty of natural light during the daytime. And because of the placement of the pool, the way the water shimmers, then at night, your lighting needs are covered by the down lighting set in the single volume ceiling. And then when we talk about the double volume ceiling, as well as outside on your outside dining room table, you've got some incredibly abstract and eye-catching chandeliers and speaking of the kitchen that is where we headed next but I'd definitely like to bring your attention to this wide open space here where you get unobstructed views heading through your front door of your pool as well as the canal and here we are in the kitchen and let's talk about what you get stunning Caesar stone countertops and I love the color and how it matches the theme of liquid water. Under counter we've got plenty of storage and above counter we've got a five top gas burner made by Smeg. We've got an extractor fan that rises out of the center island. Something else that rises out of the center island are plug points. So if you are entertaining for many people and you need some extra accessories here on the center island they've got you covered. On my right hand side chef sink 
really elegant taps made by Hunsgro. Behind me, three separate ovens all made by Smeg. We've got hidden fridge on that side there, which I'll get to, and all of these are soft touch cupboards in a matte finish. Here is your hidden fridge. And last but not least, my favorite thing in every single house, and that is your very own wine cellar, hidden just behind this mirror finished glass door. Absolutely love it. It's a beautiful sunny day today, and I think it does call or at least some sunglasses now that we can talk about this outside area. So first and foremost, we've got all weather decking, a heated pool that almost runs the length of the whole house within a retractable cover. We've got immediate access to the canal right over there as well as over there. And then we need to talk about these stackable glass doors. You can see them on the lounge as well as on the dining area opens all the way out because this home is the epitome of a holiday home. Then we need to notice the sliding stackable glass doors we've got on the lounge area as well as on the dining area opening this whole house up to the canal as well as the lush greenery and you see the silhouette of the Michalisberg Mountains just behind it. This home is a holiday home and it allows you to enjoy these wide open spaces. Behind these sets of sliding stackable glass doors though, you've got your dining room area, which is immensely large. It is built for entertainment. You can see the dining room table there with 14 seats and it is dwarfed by the open area to you. But utility is still the number one asset of this home. You've got a full on bar area equipped with a wine bar as well as a mini bar. You've got a chef sink and South Africa's favorite pastime has to be the gas braai with you guessed it, and extract the fan just above it so you can close off all of these doors and still enjoy incredible gourmet meals in the winter time, such as today, and look at how sunny it is. But there's even more there. You've got a full-on coffee bar, you have got access to another guest bathroom, and you have all of this over here, and we're gonna talk about that. If we cross this bridge, you've got your jacuzzi on my left-hand side with jets. You've got this open space here right next to the canal where you can sit down, enjoy a couple of cocktails or a morning coffee. But if it's time to entertain with guests, we've got that right over there. A full-on sunken fire pit. You've got poolside seating if you'd like to enjoy a meal there. Your very own wood-fired pizza oven and even more storage in case you're whipping up really large meals just around that corner. But that doesn't even surmise everything we've seen downstairs because we need to take a look at that other guest bedroom and then we finally take the journey upstairs to see the master bedroom and the two other bedrooms located there. But this home's got a couple of secrets, so stay tuned for how we end off this video because you're gonna be blown away. Come with me. Walking into the last downstairs bedroom, we're gonna talk about all the storage space. As you walk through the door, there's closet space there for whatever pool goods you might wanna put in, some extra towels or some bathing suits. Then separated by a door is the bedroom itself. Air conditioned, spacious, with an ensuite bathroom, a built-in desk, and its own set of cupboards. It ticks all the boxes, with not one, but two sets of windows. One looking out to your pool area and the other giving you access to the front of the house, meaning any of your guests don't even need to walk through your house to access their bedroom. You've got stunning featured walls. And then when it comes to talking about that bathroom, you've got double vanities and a single shower rounding this room off. Now, however, it's time to head upstairs. So before we head upstairs, let's talk about the scullery just off to my left hand side. You've got a full basin, dry goods storage area, as well as plenty of counter space for you to store anything else that you want to keep out of sight in the kitchen area. But now there are three bedrooms and two pajama lounges, as well as a host of other really special features that we're going to enjoy on this first floor. Now the upstairs section has two pajama lounges, one located right by the stairs, the other located here servicing two bedrooms, a perfect place to sit down, relax and watch some TV with friends and family. 
but there are a couple of really nice design elements even here. We've got the warm wood with the gloss white TV cabinet slash display cabinet. We've got these glass panels sitting just behind the couch that obviously provides a bit of a safety net, but what it really allows you to do is it frames the molecular style chandelier that hangs above the entryway. Everything in this house really lets you appreciate where you are, how it's been designed, but most of all the fact that you're somewhere where you can relax and enjoy a holiday. But first off, there's a bedroom behind me which we need to take a look at. There's one directly opposite it and then there's a couple of very cool features in between that you're not going to want to miss out on. So come with me and let's get started. Just past your second pajama lounge is this right over here. One of the bedrooms that again is spacious, comfortable and so well equipped. I love the display cabinetry that also functions as drawers and cupboards. We've got more cupboards just here through the entrance. Then in this bedroom, you've got your very own balcony overlooking the waterfront and the canals. It's air conditioned. It's got another wall of windows letting in that natural light and letting you look out at some of the greenery that your front garden provides. And of course, it has its own ensuite bathroom. This time, freestanding bath, walk-in shower, as well as a double vanity rounds off this bedroom. But there are more bedrooms and we're gonna go take a look at those right now. Second bedroom is up next. This bedroom again comes so well equipped, spacious, comfortable with views not only out the front of the house but this time with a glass door that leads out onto a massive balcony that joins with that front balcony overlooking your blue pool and the canals. The bedroom is air conditioned, has built-in cupboards as well as a desk and much like the other bedrooms you have your ensuite bathroom, bathtub, walk-in shower, double vanity or double basins with under counter storage, massive mirror and I love the tiling in this bathroom once again giving it such a nice unique feel. So I mentioned a balcony that wraps around to the front and here it is. I've just left that second bedroom and you've got this wide open space for you to enjoy but there's so much more closer to the first pajama lounge that we haven't even shown you yet. But before we head there, obviously you can see the spiral staircase. And this spiral staircase takes you all the way up to the roof. And going up to the roof really does mean that you have got some incredible views, not only of the mountainside, but of all the lush greenery that this incredible home is surrounded by. Come join me as we take a look at what else this balcony has in store. And what it has to offer is this, sliding stackable doors behind me, a beautiful view framed with glass railing, another gas bry built in with that industrial extractor fan. But for those coffee and wine connoisseurs, this patio comes with its very own built-in and weatherproofed bar area. Take a look at this convenient, absolutely weatherproofed and it even comes with its own set of blinds. Love the patio but there's still a pajama lounge to talk about. Let's head there next. And the last pajama lounge is perfect to sit back, relax, watch the sun set or even the sun rise. You've got two sets of pocket windows that open up really wide and that complements these sliding stackable glass doors, letting you enjoy the indoors and outdoors, but most of all, letting you enjoy that canal and the incredible silhouette of the Michalisburg Mountains. But this pajama lounge borders your master suite and we headed there next. Let's take a look at what you're getting. And here we are finally within the master suite and it so quickly becomes evident that this room is all about the views. You've got those pocket windows opening up, giving you unobstructed views of the Michalisburg mountain as well as your lush green garden. But this room gets brought together with the warm wood pieces, its spaciousness. It's also got a lot of utility with air conditioning, plenty of windows, a built-in desk as well as all this cupboard space. 
And then that brings us to the ensuite bathroom. Just behind this door, you'll find your toilet, nice and private. We've got a freestanding bathtub taking up the majority of the space, flanked by his and hers vanity, under counter storage, as well as side storage for his and her as well. Then you've got a walk-in shower again, framed with glass, and that's when it all starts making sense. The glass pieces here are to assist you with being able to look out at that incredible silhouette of the mountain, of all of the forests here, as well as that incredible canal, even when you're soaking in a nice bubble bath. However, that brings us to the end of this video, which means we're gonna head outside and talk about how you can become the next owner of this incredible canal side mansion. Come with me. And there you have it folks, a 19 million six bedroom, six and a half bathroom waterside mansion, perfect for anyone looking to escape the hustle and bustle of Johannesburg and relax in the opulence, the refinery, but most of all, the peace that only the islands can provide. We are right on the canal, and as you can see, blue pools, incredible design elements, and every single utility anybody could ever hope for. This is without a doubt a steal, so if you'd like to become this home's next owner, what I'd like you to do is contact Anthony Marshall from Rawson's and schedule a viewing as soon as possible. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram so you never miss some of Mzanzi's most incredible, special, opulent, or sometimes just unique houses. We air every single Friday. Also remember, you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za in any area at any price point. We'll see you next time. So from myself, Chad Riveros, the team at the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Thank you so much and goodbye.